Hey guys, Ben Fumber, Hey Man Fishing. Today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to catch your lemon or crappie in the middle of the day when it's freaking hot out here. Stay tuned. It is hot, it is hot. Now, I'm out here in the middle of the lake, about midday, and uh, we're gonna start in the uh, main channel of the lake and find those creek channels, which is easy to do. Just a creek channel comes off the main lake and we're gonna run it until we find brush. All right, guys, catching these crappie on a castle spoon in the middle of the summer. Now here's what, here's what you need to look for. Get out on your lake. I'm gonna show you. This is the main channel running right here on my lake. And here's a creek channel coming off. There's a big creek back in here. It's coming right off here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run over with my graph in here on this creek channel here. Not the main channel, but right that, that main creek channel coming off going back in the back of this creek here. I'm gonna run over that with my, uh, now you see I got, I got bait fish showing up. But I'm gonna run through here looking for some brush. All right, we're gonna come across some brush. Let me show you what that looks like on the traditional stand. All right, now you see this brush I'm running across on the traditional and then on the uh, down stand. There's fish on there. You can kind of barely see them on there. You see them, well, they are stacked up in there. Look at them, they all stacked up in there. So we're gonna fish that. Okay guys, I'm out here on a secondary creek channel. I got brush here. I'm gonna zoom in on these fish. You see all those crappies? Those are crappie holding up on this tree. And the top of the tree's in 18 foot. We're fishing 31 foot of water. Well, it's 31 foot water deep here. But uh, I'm just throwing, all I'm doing is throwing my old cast spoon right down there to it. Them fish active, they're gonna jump all over that. Okay, I'm down in there with them. Now, a lot of times you can catch a good sized bass doing this. And, uh, but I take anything, whatever. There we go, oh, we had that. And I'm out here to pick up whatever I can on these brush piles. I mean, if I can get a good size crappie, that's good. If I can get a bad, I got one right here. Let's see what we got, but it's crappies. Yeah. So, nice little crappie. That'd be, that would be a keeper. All right, we're gonna throw back down in there, see if we can get another one. Now guys, this is the only brush pile that I have worked. This is the first one I found off the channel. And it has produced for me I'm catching crappie on this casting spoon. I just want to show you how easy it can be in the summertime just using a casting spoon. Oh, there he is right there. There we go, right here, buddy. There's a crappie right there. All right. So we'll throw back down there. Work on another crappy out here in deep water. You see what I'm looking at right here. Let's try that again. Going right back down to them. Like I say, most time they'll get it going on on the way down. And these fish are hungry. They grab that casting spoon like that. Y'all sure are looking at it and chasing over at it. They think that's an old dead minnow falling down from above. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him right here. You see me jigging it up? Jigging it up and down. He'll hit it. He's gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Y'all want that? Now this is a smaller jigging spoon. It ain't the big one. I like I say, I'm gonna put all that. I'm gonna put all that in there for you guys to check out. Again, they, they make a size just a smaller than this one. I'm dropping down to them. 
Got a lot of them down there. Look at there. Look at all those crappies. They are stacked up in here. Look at them there. Look at all those crappies. See them right here? Watch. I'm just letting the fire go. Got one. Got one coming up here. A little tiny one. That's a, that's a brim. So there's that brim. We got some brim mixed in there with them. Well, we got us one here, buddy. Come on up. There's a crappy right there. Ooh, he hit that on the way down. No size. Let's do it again. All right, here we go. We're having fun. I'm having fun catching these crappy. Oh, they hit it. Dropping down and they going after it. Yeah, there he is right there. Don't think he's any size. Nope. Here we go. No size. Now we had caught some uh, some nice ones right before my foot pulled in here. Yeah, I'm catching a few of them. Jake, get him, boy. Get him. Watch this thing. Watch him. Look at all them fish in there. I'm just digging it up and down. Oh, there he is. There we go. That's a, feels good. Feels like a decent crappy there. Yeah. He would be a keeper. Well, I say a keeper. Oh, he got to be at least eight inches. But he would make it. Now, on my last video, y'all be sure to watch it. Is catching crappy around bridge pilings. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button if you like crappy fishing. And for some things I can teach you, heck, you can put your comments in there. I can pick up some stuff from you. Uh, put it in there. And um, But yeah, also trout fishing. If you like to trout fish and you, you go to Cherokee, North Carolina, um, I got several videos on Cherokee. There he is right there. Yeah, there we go. All right. Got several videos on Cherokee, North Carolina, trout fishing. Now, I like to fly fish, but a lot of my videos right now, they all on this uh, catch and keep in Cherokee. And that's using that's using spinners and light light you know light tackle uh, ultra light rod and reel which is a lot of fun. All right, guys, all you need to do when you come out here during the summer, just get you a, a casting spoon, just throw it in there and drop it down. If they if they hungry, they're gonna tear it up. They're gonna go after it. Now, like I say, if I had minnows, that's a different story. Uh, they're probably more likely so. Look at them go down there. Look at them go after that. Ooh. They are just after it, guys. Look at them. I'm just letting it fall. And they're hitting it on the fall. Come on, buddy. Hit him. Ain't that pretty. Oh, come on. Ooh, he had, he had a little touch there. He touched it. Like an old wounded, like an old wounded uh, minna. No hope for that minna. They fall down there with all them crappy. That's like a bunch of piranhas. They going after it. Like I say, all I'm doing is just jigging it up and down, and they're hitting it on the drop. They're hitting it on the drop. I don't care how they hit it. I just want to catch it. And I'm not in the middle of these fish. I'm just on the edge right now. I hadn't moved over there to the middle. But a lot of times it's crappy. They're most active on top. But these here, these here have been active all around. There you go. That's all you have to do is play with it long enough. He can't stand it. They go after it. Ooh, that's a decent one there. Yes, sir. We'll take him. Take him all day. 
Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. All right, we're staying with them. Middle of the day. Air temperature's right 92. I'm fishing in 32 foot of water. And we're catching crappies in the middle of the lake. Play with it long enough. They are going to be on it. Long on it, on it. Just dropping it right down and look at them right there. Watch them run over and grab it. Watch them run over and grab it. There's going to be one out of that bunch. Y'all get him. Now guys, this is a just a tree that's probably got washed in here. I don't know that somebody put brush out. Now I have brush nearby here, Christmas trees, but this just looks like more of a it's like an old tree, big tree that got moved in here by the current. Now I might be wrong. Come on, grab him. Don't give up on the fishing in the summertime with all this heat. You can catch them. You might have to work at it a little bit harder than you do when they're spawning, uh, especially when they're spawning in the, in the springtime. There you go. That's a good one there. I almost feel like a bass here, but... Mm. Oh, I you know what I've done. I foul hooked him on the side. That felt good. Woo, foul hooked him. That shows you how many fish are down there. Bunch of them. Give this old jigging a try out there. You out there and you find some brush, you see fish on them, stop and hit them. But any lake you uh, own, you can do this in the summertime. Get out and grab in the deeper water. Find it. There you go. Oh, head hit. Find him. Uh, there he is. He, he wanted the second time. And I think he's little. Yeah. He's not as big as I hope. But get out there in the middle of your lake on them on them channels and uh, grab. Till you find some brush like i say if you can get a uh, some brush hanging around a, a creek channel that's going to be a plus because those creek channels are like highways for all those fish they're going to move up and down through there and they're going to migrate up through there up and down oh, got it. he's on there oh that feels good there that felt like a good crap nope not as big as I was hoping. Small. Small. Yeah, he's right there. No, oh, he's on there. Little one. Another little one crappy. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode we found the crappy caught them on that little small casting spoon caught a good number of them uh, some of them had some size to them that we could keep um, but if you get out here in the summertime you want to find some crappy go to deep water go to your main channel then find those creeks that's coming off that main channel run them with your graphs until you find some brush uh, them crappy gonna be holding up on that brush and if they acted, they're going to they gonna jump all over that casting spoon or that jig, whatever you're throwing down there to them. So, guys, until next time, God bless all of you, and have a great week.